Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good day. So this morning, Call of the Wild EW uh, released the second iteration of the developer diary. The thing that they're doing, the developer diary, where, where we get to hear from lead developer Troy. We get to hear a little bit from the development team in these, and these are really cool. I think this is such a cool idea. They released the second one, and it's all about the item wheel. Now, the item wheel's got some cool features to it that I actually didn't think that it did have, so I wanted to make a video about this, and we're gonna just kind of go down. We're gonna look at it together, read through it together. There's a couple little videos we can look at and there's a couple features with the item wheel that are really really cool that I'm actually really excited for I actually wasn't thinking that I would actually use it but after seeing this I definitely will be using it so we're gonna look at that together I hope you guys do enjoy this video drop a like on it as usual if you do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but let's just get straight into the video All right, so let's just get straight into it. So the item wheel, this is a really cool feature that's coming with the next update, um, probably mostly for console, but I think people on PC are gonna use this as well because there's a couple features here and we'll see at the at the bottom of this uh, of this post what I'm talking about. But there are a couple features to this item wheel that I did not know were gonna be a thing. So let's just go through and read it. Hello everyone, welcome to our second The Hunter Call of the Wild Developer Diary. This time we're joined by Amy. Oh, so we're actually joined by some, by some other people in this one, some other, some other devs. Uh, we've got Amy Surugi, UI designer, and Magnus Eckers UI developer. So today we'll talk about the new item wheel feature that's being introduced for free alongside our upcoming reserve, Revontuli Coast. Uh, since this is a feature that has been highly requested by our community for a long time, we hope this blog post will provide some interesting insights. So why an item wheel? There are currently a couple different ways to switch items in the Hunter Call of the Wild, but each method has its downsides. For example, selecting items with the D-pad or the mouse middle button is time consuming as you have to scroll through each item one by one. The hotkeys are also available if you are a keyboard and mouse user, but there's still a problem where you have to remember which items are assigned to which keys. And that that, that is really an issue for, for newer players, right? Like I have the same keys that I use for different types of items in the game but uh, that can take some getting used to for newer players right you've got like nine or what is it ten buttons ten hotkeys and you got to remember where everything is so this could definitely be a really helpful thing for newer players and for players on console uh, in particular for sure another major issue is that there's currently no way to quickly swap ammo hmm we were aware that we had been receiving a lot of feedback from the community on these issues, so we set out to solve them by introducing a new radial menu. So this is the new radial menu, the item wheel. This is what comes up. So you get the stats, you get the recommended classes, you know, for this, for whatever you're kind of scrolling over, you get the recommended classes, you get all of the stats for the particular weapon or for whatever it is that you're, that you're hovering over. And let's just watch this little video together. Basically, he's just gonna bring up the mouse wheel and, and kind of scroll around we can see the stats changing for each weapon that he hovers over so cool awesome so button mapping and functionality the most basic functionality of the item wheel is of course to switch items if you open the wheel by pressing and holding the mouse middle button slash d-pad up button you will see the radial menu with assigned items move the mouse tilt the right stick and highlight an item you wish to select releasing the held key will close the wheel and the highlighted item will be selected most of the keys can also be remapped in the settings menu so basically yeah whether you're on console or PC for PC it's the middle mouse button you're just gonna basically hold the button that brings up the menu and then move what whether it's your joystick or your mouse over what you want and then as soon as you release uh, the item wheel disappears and you pull out that item whatever that item was if it's a weapon or a collar so that's super cool so super easy to use very uh, indicative of, of different uh, weapon wheels and item wheels that we've seen in other games so it goes on to talk about how it's similar to the radial menu for the hunting dog that we've already seen in the game and it goes on to say while keeping the look and feel of the command wheel we have made changes to its controls to enable a faster item selection instead of hovering over the slot containing the item you wish to select the direction of the mouse movements will highlight slot Lots. Closing the wheel will select the currently highlighted item. So that's a really cool way of doing it. It's super, super user friendly, super easy to use. So this is the new inventory uh, screen. So we've still got the same inventory, but we've also now got the item wheel to the left. So we get to see both. And as you kind of drag and drop different items into your hotkeys, it changes in the, in the item wheel as well. So you kind of get a, a visual of both at the same time, side by side, which is really cool. And it says, yeah, it says that right there. Assigning equipment to the slots can be done in the inventory as usual. There is now a wheel view added to the inventory screen and you can switch between two uh, depending on your needs, which is 
awesome. That is, that is super cool. So this is the cool part though. I did not know that with the item wheel there was going to be the ability to switch ammo as well as sights. You can now do it on the fly as long as you're carrying uh, the desired ammo that you want to switch to as long as it's in your inventory. It doesn't have to be on your hotkeys but as long as it's in your storage um, whether it be sights or ammo you can now switch them on the fly with the item wheel. You don't have to go into the menu and go into your inventory and go through all the lists and stuff. You can do, do it with the click of a button which is huge it's something huge that we needed in this game so it goes on to say switching ammo and sights in the item wheel you can also switch ammo and sights by pressing Q or the LB button for console or E so Q and E on mouse and keyboard L and R on uh, on console for sights while highlighting a weapon the stats panel displayed on the right side of the wheel could also be useful to quickly find the suitable ammo for the animal you are trying to hunt so yeah and basically it goes on to say that if you're hunting you know all of a sudden you run into a, a legendary animal or something and you don't have the right ammo in your gun you can quickly switch it over and boom you're good to go and we can see that in this little video so we can see them do it so all you do open the wheel and now you can use Q and E right if you're on PC or L and R and then you can see them do it uh, with the sight as well I'm not sure how you switch those two but you can see them switching between the ammo and then they switch between the sights as well so I'm imagining it's probably so I'm not sure how they're changing between switching the ammo type and then switching the scope but it's probably as simple as maybe you scroll your mouse wheel down or something like that while you're in that menu but you can do both and that is super super cool I did not realize that that was gonna be a feature with the item wheel so that's that's the coolest part of it for me and then yeah the recommended classes are right there it shows you the recommended classes as you switch the the ammo types so that's gonna be really good for new players as well that don't have all of that stuff memorized you can switch your sights switch your ammo out on the fly super super cool and something that we've needed in this game for a very long time but yeah that's pretty much it guys hope you guys enjoyed this one I just wanted to go over this developer diary I found it very interesting and I wanted to go over it with you guys uh, together and yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoy the video I hope you guys are uh, excited for Rev on to the coast all the features that are coming with the next update if you are let me know down in the comments what are you looking forward to the most I hope you guys enjoyed this video drop a like on it if you did enjoy it subscribe to the channel if you have already and as always I will see you guys in the next one